Hey, it's Tasha Smith and I am back with Chef Louts. Hey, how are you? Great. So today we're going to put together a pasta dish. Okay. And we're going to use all the same ingredients that we had for our pizzas that we did. It's perfect. So if we had leftovers or perhaps maybe somebody in the family doesn't like pizzas, okay. we're going to make a pasta dish because, I mean, seriously, who doesn't like pasta? Right, right. So um, over here on the stove, we got our marinara sauce. Um, we're going to add some extra tomatoes to it. I got these chunky tomatoes here. Okay. They're just diced tomatoes, nothing fancy, but it gives a little more depth, a little more texture to our pasta dish instead of just um, spaghetti sauce. Gotcha. So I'm gonna stir that up. And inside here we had salt, pepper, fresh chopped up garlic, mm -hmm. and then we had basil and oregano, crushed red pepper. Huh? And we, we put it all in there and we kind of let it boil right. up. Right. And I think the longer that you cook, like especially diced tomatoes, the sweeter everything gets. Okay. And I like a sweeter marinara sauce. Yep. And so to start out, over here, we got just water and it's just now starting to boil. This is kind of an important piece here because sometimes I get in a hurry at the house and I just like, oh, that's boiling. I see a couple of bubbles and I throw my pasta in and, and I stir it up and then it's like, oh my God, what is taking so long? You're not supposed long. to do that? No, man. No. <laughs> Make sure that when you throw your pasta in here, first of all, you got plenty of salt. Now, my grandmother said that if it doesn't taste like the water in Galveston, <laughs> then it's not it's salty, salty enough. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't drink the water in Galveston. Right. So I'm just gonna put some salt in there. And that's also gonna help it start boiling, I think a little faster. And then um, when it's boiling, we're gonna add our pasta. And, and something that I know for a fact my kids forget is to once you put the noodles in the water, mm -hmm. you gotta stir it immediately or it makes one big block. Gotcha. Yep. Especially the spaghetti noodles. Right. They stick together and you, you pour it out into the, the colander and you got that blob of spaghetti. Yeah. You yeah. sit there and try to peel it apart. Yeah. That's a nice little... Okay. You need spatulas for everything. We got like 900 of them. And as soon as it goes in, start stirring. Start stirring. And you want to come back to it, let it simmer for, you know, about 10 minutes or so. Stirring it occasionally. So now we've drained and strained our pasta. Huh? And so we have a pot full here of just plain noodles. And that's exciting because for me, um, I like my sauce sitting on top of my noodles. Mm -hmm. My wife, she likes it all mixed together. together. So it's always different. We can never yeah. make just one dish at our house. So here, we got our pan. Yeah. Gonna start it up. You always wanna make sure that your skillet, pan, pot, whatever it is, is hot. Okay. Heat up your pan before you start cooking. A little butter in the pan. Make sure that it's good and melted, and then you know your pan is extra hot. Okay. You like onions? Yep. I love onions. So we're gonna start that cooking, and, and I'm gonna cook my onions. Let's just go ahead, and let's add some onions to that. We're gonna start getting them a little bit caramelized, a little bit brown on the outside. Okay. That's when you start really having all that flavor. Okay. So I'll let you stir that up a little bit. How about bell peppers? You like bell peppers? Yep. A little bell pepper. Can't go wrong. Can't forget our garlic. So around now is when I would chop up my pepperonis if I had any left over. Okay. And I would throw my pepperonis in there or whatever other proteins that you use while uh, making your pizzas, I would add them to that. Um, you used all that pepperoni. Yeah. So now we don't um, have anything for our pasta. How was that supposed to taste? Uh, <laughs> it happens. We're gonna continue cooking the peppers and onions. You want them nice and soft. You don't want to have a hard, crunchy uh, vegetable in your pasta dish. Uh, I don't prefer it, maybe, yeah. no. Let's add some, add some sauce to it. Remember, our sauce is already hot. We're gonna bring all that up to temperature, let that get real hot, and then we're gonna add our noodles to it. And since we only cooked our noodles what we call al dente, 
they're gonna soak up a little bit of that tomato juice inside the noodle. It's gonna draw some of that flavor into the noodle Al itself. Al dente. Al dente, to the tooth. So you think it's hot? Yep. Okay, so let's add, add some noodles. Stir that around, let the let that sauce kind of get all over those noodles. And then we're gonna let them simmer for just a little bit longer. You think more, more sauce? sauce? Yeah, more sauce. Definitely more sauce. Okay, you always want to finish your dish off with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Stir it around. And then we're gonna scoop it out onto the plate. That way it looks nice and pretty. We can see all the colors, the noodles, the sauce. Here, let me show you how to do it the first time. Now it's your turn. Beautiful, simple, yep. easy, nothing to it, low cost, budget friendly, nice pasta dish. Yep. Okay, here we go. This is the real tr true test of how your dish turned out. Mmm, look really, really good, Chef. The flavors of the marinara sauce mixed together with the sauteed onions and the sweat. Uh, peppers in there. Mm -hmm. Everything melts together real nice. Mm. Easy. Easy and yummy. Easy. easy. Excellent. It's really good. <laughs> you got some to-go place back here. It's going to be my lunch.